Hey pals, welcome to the video. I just wanted to set this up as episode one in a four part series I'm uploading on a conversation that I had with Nick Wozniak. Nick is the pixel artist behind the Shovel Knight franchise and I was very fortunate and had a lot of fun in uh, making this video with him. If you like this content, please let me know and uh, I'll see if I can get somebody else on and we'll make a bit of a series out of this, like a segment where I bring on uh, a developer for an hour and we just get to pick their brains about the industry, their experiences, uh, their workflows, that kind of thing. So enjoy, and I'll catch you on the other side. Hi, everybody. Uh, and hi, uh, most especially to Nick Wozniak of Yacht Club Hello. Games. Is that right? Have I got, I've got yes. you right? <laughs> you said my whole name correctly and my company name. Correctly. That's amazing. Um, oh. Hey, <laughs> uh, for everybody who doesn't know, um, Nick is responsible for, um, I, I would I think all of the pixel art, am I right in saying all of the pixel art? Up on... until um, Vector of Torment's ship. So um, for King of Cards, we hired Sandy. Um, mm -hmm. uh... On Shovel Knight. Sorry, just so that everyone knows. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Shovel Knight has like five games in it, right? Mm -hmm. So Shovel Knight is the original Shovel of Hope that we renamed. Um, and there's Plague of Shadows, which is the Plague Knight campaign. There's Spectre of Torment, which is uh, you play a Spectre Knight. And then um, the upcoming one is Shovel Knight King of Cards and Showdown, which is the, the battle mode. And so for King of Cards and Showdown, we hired another pixel artist um, full time. And he's his name is Sandy. He goes by Bandygrass. Oh. Um, and I'm blanking on his last name because it's oh, Sandy Gordon. His his real name is not that. His, his nice real catch. name is Elkin. Um, yeah, Sandy Gordon. And he's on Twitter. His name, he goes by Bandygrass. Apparently he's it's Sandy's birthday today. Happy birthday, Sandy. It is Sandy's <laughs> birthday today. It is. That's crazy because yeah. it's also... Nobody um, knew about It's my brother's <laughs> birthday today, and it's also oh. uh, my mod Danger BK's birthday. Uh, one oh. of my mods. <laughs> so a lot well, of birthdays today. Whoa, what trailer is this? This is the 2015, Very I think, or, or maybe like the original trailer. This looks like the Kickstarter. Yeah, this is the Kickstarter trailer. Yeah, there you go. It's really funny. We changed the colors of everything, and we changed... Did you really? Like this, this that, that pose of his down throw, thrust is like really weird and doesn't mm -hmm. happen. Um, that art for that is all different. This is not a room that exists. Those chandeliers is different. <laughs> like, look, he didn't, Chester didn't come out of that chest. <gasps> this is crazy. Well, it's, it's a kind of a testament to, uh, I guess, what you kind of have to do uh, when making a trailer and uh, how games are subject to change. Oh, yeah. I mean, this trailer... Um, the, the, the fun part about this trailer is that there's literally nothing except what you see in that trailer. Mm -hmm. Um, if that's the, the Kickstarter trailer, uh, this might not be, I don't know. Sure. I'm resetting it. But so the Kickstarter watch it again. trailer is like, there's like nothing else in the game. <laughs> <laughs> we just like, we put it together and made it so that like we could have something to pitch to people. Right. But there was like literally like nothing else. So where was the game? We're like, well, how point? much, like what percent of the, of the game is done? Like zero. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Oh man! Wow. All right. Well, before we get before we get uh, too far into things and into shovel knight specifically, um, I just thought I'd like to ask uh, and for the chat um, to see if you could uh, give us a little bit of background of uh, who you are, what your history in uh, game dev and pixel art is, and kind of um, how you got involved with yacht club and shovel knight. Yeah. Sure. So. Um... Yeah. Hi, everyone. My name is Nick Wozniak. I've been doing game dev for uh, 10 years, maybe 11. I don't know, uh, for a while. And I got my start. This is a question that comes up a lot, like, you know, how do you get your start in video games? Um, and I always say, don't listen to my answer, because it's not a good one. <laughs> I hear that <laughs> my, a lot, actually. My answer. <laughs> yeah, it's like half the time it's luck, right? Um, half the time it's like it's just like you're in the right spot um, the the real answer is have um, the awareness and ability to fulfill the opportunities to get flung at you because they're always random mm -hmm. but the my answer is I did um, in college I studied 3D animation um, I'm not related to any other Wozniaks that you know of <laughs> don't worry um, no relation to Steve so I did 3D. Uh, yeah no, no. <laughs> Steve or Scott um so i did i did 3d animation in college and um while i was there i also learned uh flash mm -hmm. and, and so Wait, um, if i may ask what year is this 
So this was in 2005 is when I went to, I was a freshman in college. Okay. But I've been doing college before that because I was, I was like homeschool or I did like college during high school. <laughs> um, anyway, in like 2005, six and seven, I was doing like freelancing stuff to see if I could like, like Craigslist gigs. <laughs> um, yep. And those were fun. <laughs> Those are like weird. For a while, I did uh, 3D visuals for um, a company that put on parties, like raves. Mm -hmm. Like they would hire these DJs that people apparently. Wait, you were a DJ? I, I made video content. I was not okay. a DJ. <laughs> right, that's the thing though. My my brother is an yeah. aspiring uh, sort of VJ. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah. I guess the difference would like be Carson Daly. Um, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> it's like uh, it's like the difference between pre uh, pre set up video, pre rendered, and live, pre right? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. It's like what I did was I would set up. I actually did like three D animations. So like what we did, and I, what I mean by three D is stereoscopic, and mm -hmm. that was the hook for oh, these shit. parties. Is we made, I, I developed a three D rig, and we made like. Um, like you would put on glasses when you got into the door and so all the tv screens that were around had like moving through tunnels or like big wow. space scenes and it was all 3d and stereoscopic and cool that's crazy um and yeah i did that for a while but i like i really didn't like it i was like oh, just no. like struggling just to, like you know make ends meet in college yeah, yeah. dude you um, did what you had to do yeah absolutely um but i would do some of the 3d the reason i bring that up is that i would do some of that freelancing in a coffee shop um, and that happened to be underneath a company called Way Forward. The Way Forward wow. was like on floor two, and the floor one was a coffee shop. And it was like my favorite coffee shop. They're so good. Um, they're gone now. But, oh, uh, hang on. One moment before you continue. I need to change the, the stream title for sure. Yeah, I need to I need to do some things. Actually, you may continue. I'll just do that uh, quietly. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, so I was I was working at a freelance. I was doing freelance stuff like in the coffee shop. I didn't work at the coffee shop. I was just mm -hmm. there, using their electricity. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like being around people was fun and to show off your cool laptop to everybody. Um, <laughs> mine had. Um, <laughs> anyway, I uh, I started talking to somebody there, and he was like we kind of like, you know, we became friendly and. He's the CEO of the company, and he was like, "Dude, I guess." And he, 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 like, I had other connections with them and stuff. So, uh, like, we went to the same church, and like, we talked. Uh, like, I think um, he knew somebody else that I knew of. I, I forget. Anyway. Okay. Um. So yeah, we went and, and we like hit it off, and I was like, "Hey, you need to hire me." And I was very pushy and very annoying. Um. And I was like, "I love the job." Hey, you know, John, you want to give me a job? And then one day he was like, uh, well, first he gave me a, a test, a pixel test, the thing that they give the standard, like they give out this test to everybody. I failed it. Um, oh, no. And it was bad. <laughs> it was my first time and I was like, oh, this is weird. Wait, so your first um, time doing pixel art was in a job interview? Yeah, it was, it was a test. Wow. Yeah, like they, it was a take home test. So I, I had like a week to do it. Uh, and it was a, a run animation and a. Um, and an acting animation, like a long idol. Okay, and uh, what, what year was this? This was 2007, maybe 2008. Okay. That was a while ago. Um, and it was Risky Boots, the uh, enemy character from Shantae, and oh. I gave her a walk animation. I had not I had done animation, but not like pixel animation. Yep. So um, I, I, I failed. And then um, <laughs> later though, um, John was like, hey, you know Flash, right? So I like I had learned Flash a little bit in college, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, I know Flash. I'm, I'm great at Flash. Um, and so <laughs> that was that little like opportunity that, that worked its way in there. And he was like, we're working on this Flash game. Um, and it's going to be for the Wii. And I was like, oh, that sounds great. And he's like, do you, do you want to like help out with it? And I said, I would love to. <laughs> That's awesome. And that game never saw the light of day. Oh. It was... <laughs> It was a game that was done. Are you familiar with Scaleform? Do you know what that is? I've heard of it. Do you want to tell? Scaleform. Chat? Scaleform. Yeah, Scaleform. I know what it is, but sca okay, <laughs> chat definitely <okay>. doesn't. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll tell chat. Um, <laughs> um, uh, 
Yeah, scale form is an engine used to make menus. So mm -hmm. it like, it was popular when like Infamous was popular. Remember that game where you mm -hmm. were like Electric Man and you press pause and like a bunch of things would slide in and go. Mm -hmm. That was you know, scale form. It we tried to make a game using an engine used to make menus, and it was just the <laughs> biggest clusterfuck. It was bad. <laughs> um, and uh, sorry to hear that. So anyway, that was me. Like I was that was my introduction to game design or game production. Mm -hmm. But I like showed that I could do stuff, and I was I was quick to, at learning things, and I was like constantly trying to show off, like like do more, and I was like begging to do animations, and um, eventually they they found use for me elsewhere, and I moved on to do other other projects. Like I think the next one I did was um, something called the Ultimotion Fitness, which is a right. um, a thing that was made during the same time that We Fit was out. And it was literally a thing that they would put on QVC and try to trick old people into thinking they were buying Wii Fit. Um, oh. That's like what the pro that's what the producers said about it. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and so that was like my next project, and we didn't put our name on that at all. <laughs> um, and you can't. I don't think you can buy it. I have one, and it's just absolutely terrible. It has these like little nunchucks that you have to like really swing to make the accelerometer work. Right. So it was hardware. It was like actually like a. Yeah, and totally. this is way it forward. Was, was was producing this? Way forward, yeah. Wow. yeah, yeah. They don't talk about that one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's a shame. So I did some Barbie games. It always sucks to do work that you can't uh, put on the resume. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you. This well, is the you know that. the magnum opus, though, right? <laughs> 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 if only you could put it on your resume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if only. Um, but eventually, I, I I started to follow in the crowd that was doing some good stuff, and we did. Um, Blood, Rain, Blood Rain Betrayal, and the same guy did Boy and His Blob. Um, our director was also like the uh, one of the leads on Contra Four, mm -hmm. and um, and um, you know amongst all that, I was also like working with some extremely talented artists and extremely talented pixel artists. Mm -hmm. And um, one of those guys, that no one's ever heard of. His name is Chris Curligan. He's extremely talented. He's like one of the best pixel artists I've ever worked with. Um, and nobody knows who he is because wow. he doesn't put his stuff online. And I just like, want to slap him. Um, <laughs> he's, but he's like so good. And I learned a lot from him. I learned a lot from just like working with other people. And like we would hire out. I was in charge eventually of like contacting our third party and, and um, like, uh, you know, hiring animations out to people. Mm -hmm. And so I would take them in and like fix things that were like really like small things to fix them up. Not like. You know, not start from scratch, but just like fix the small things, right. and then um, eventually, that's how I like was learning pixel art was by like working with people who like like uh, Joachim Sandberg and um, Gustav Kilman, who's Wait, you, the guy. You worked at, with Joachim at, Sandberg. At yeah, I worked was with he him. a way forward? Is that right? No, we we like we like I said, we just hired out. So like we would right. we would hire out to um, like the best the best uh, background artist in the world. His name is Hank Nyberg. And mm -hmm. he's uh, he's in the Netherlands, and he's um, extremely talented uh, as his background art. That's crazy. Um, I, I was able to learn from like all these really extremely talented people. Yeah, and it was like just a big uh, opportunity for me. So um, that was my pixel art thing, and then we did Double Dragon Neon, and that was all three D. And so I was just like doing art stuff, not specifically tied to one genre. Was that the XBLA uh, Double Dragon game that came out like? Towards the end of the Xbox 360. Yes, is that right? But not not Double Dragon Four. That yep. one was bad. Okay, <laughs> the good one. Good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, the crew that did Double Dragon Neon after we left, mm -hmm. uh, or, or we decided that like we wanted to continue to do stuff, and that that became us doing stuff at stuff at home like moonlighting, and then uh, we eventually left and started Shovel Knight. Well, it's over. Oh, thank you so much for watching this video. I had a lot of fun making it. I hope you had fun watching it. Uh, I wanted to say a huge thank you to the patrons for this month. Uh, Joe Constant, Smack in the Box, Jacob, Narg, Jim Kulwicki, uh, to Raimu, Elven King Loki, Chris Jennings, Richard, uh, Richard, um, Faulty Functions, Sabarath, Alex, Robin Fritz, Oxcoxa, Infinite S Lives, and Jared Barboza. Thank you so much, guys. You really are the ones who brought this content to the channel. Because uh, without you, I wouldn't have been able to make it. So, thanks again. If you'd like to join that list of patrons, scroll down and find the link below. You can also find links to my Twitch channel, uh, to our Discord, 
to Twitter to everything your heart could desire uh, when it comes to Insignia and Adam C. Eunice. So thank you so much. Catch you in the next one and uh, have a nice day.